so for the for the final part of the webinar, the class tonight, uh, we're going to we're we're going to review um, how you can add music into your show, meaning um, in in during a static portion of the show. So if you would like to have music playing, and you have a static sequence that you want to play, then we're going to utilize um, X schedule. Uh, in a way so that it can not only play music but also uh, play a static repeating sequence that repeats throughout the, the, the time period you choose it to run and it will play that music randomly or in a certain order if you have a playlist that you like to play it in a certain order I like to run mine randomly so this is the one portion of, of X schedule that um, uh, that you are going to use the advanced playlist options and so one of the things I want to remind people is that XSchedule can do like a lot of crazy stuff I don't even know a quarter of the things that XSchedule can do but what I can say is is that the advanced mode allows for far more intricate control of your schedule and your playlists and in general what you want to accomplish in your show uh, I again I don't have every answer because I, as I learn things I like to share them and these are just some of the things that I've learned this season uh, or I've learned over the past two seasons and I don't want to forget them so I'm, I'm kind of that's where some of the video comes from but it also comes from people asking the same questions um, so what we're going to do is uh, we'll go ahead and we're going to create uh, another playlist I'm going to right click and I'm going to add an advanced playlist so when I do this it's going to create this new playlist and I'm going to call this static with music okay um, I'm also going to come in here and I'm going to add audio only and I'm going to in my in my in my show uh, folder here I have a, a music list I go in the, and in this music list here doggone it <laughs> that's not what it wanted it was supposed to do add audio only it, it took a while to open that up there but I'm going to select the first one scroll all the way down select and hold the shift key and select the last one and this is every song roughly 70 80 whatever you can have as many songs in here as you want and you can click open and what X lights will do is X lights will add each one of these in here and allow you to edit or add to uh, each one of these steps so um, one thing the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to uh, click the static sequence with music playlist the the main route and we're gonna click always shuffle okay and basically it's gonna say hey what are all these steps these steps here these are all little steps here um, I, I guess I add, um, it, all of these little steps here it's going to create it as a shuffle playlist now if you don't want it to shuffle and you want to put them in a certain order so it plays certain uh, songs in a certain order then by all means it will do that uh, from what I've uh, watched and learned from uh, some of Keith's videos is that uh, if there are four or more it, it will definitely play uh, in a shuffle it will randomly shuffle but if there's only three musical selections or three selections in general the always shuffle uh, may not work as you think it should so that's the first the first step obviously is add in all of your music so the second thing we're going to do is we're going to add an FSEQ and we'll go back into my show folder and we'll go find my static sequence only which we used in the last segment and I'll just use static time here so this is my static sequence I'm going to move it up here to the top and I'm gonna come over here and select it and once I have it selected it gives me this option run everything in this step in every step and this is the magic to getting one sequence to play static within your entire musical arrangement and while the show is playing while this while this static show is playing because it has been scheduled we'll, we will schedule it this will play um, music as you are watching your static sequence so you already know how to create a static show we just created 
the static sequence with music. And what would happen is we would need now to schedule this. And to schedule this, we'll just give this... Uh, the, I mean, this is pretty much the same thing that we did with our static show. The only difference is we added music to it. And the difference, the other difference is, is this is an advanced play. This this is a basic or a simple playlist. So uh, just know that you have to go into advanced mode in order to do this. Uh, so we're going to call uh, we're going to call this um, static weekdays, and then we can do our Sunday through Thursday, and we can do this early in the day, so we start it at 1,700 hours, and we can end this every night at 2,300 hours. Um, and as you can see now, um, you probably can't hear it. I don't know that I have the audio turned on. X schedule. See how I have. See how X schedule is making noise here. I can turn. So I'm. I'm I'm only turning that down because whenever this video gets posted, they'll flag it for copyrighted content and try to give me strikes and kick me off Facebook and and kick me off of uh, YouTube and such. So we're, we're going to keep the music down. But you can see that the music is playing here. And it tells you, if you come over here, it will tell you what song is currently playing. So right now this song, uh, Winter Things by Ariana Grande, it's playing. And with that... You don't see it over here, but the um, the the sequence, the physical uh, FSEQ static sequence would now be playing. And so when you um, when you see that uh, in the videos that uh, um, that I did with uh, the the drone footage there, whenever it goes into this static mode, it would start to play music as you're outside. You would you would see the tune two signs. You could still hear the music playing, but you would obviously just see a standard little static pattern going across everything, and it wouldn't change much. And then you'd read the sign, and it would say shows over at ten thirty or whatever time. So that's that's how I set up the static sequences. That's how I set up the uh, music to play uh, with inside X schedule and still play with that with that static and as well it's playing with inside that the background sequence so um, that's what I wanted to get through with you guys uh, share share those four basic things uh, to, in, in tonight's webinar I hope this was helpful um, I know the static sequence with music is is like ridiculously easy but trying to figure it out uh, well, now we have a dedicated video. I'll post this up on YouTube for everybody to, to uh, see. And, uh, and if you appreciate the content we've done here, by all means, uh, give us a like. Hit the subscribe button on YouTube there. And um, uh, if you haven't done yet so, uh, make sure you share the content if you like it. I'm sure a lot of other people could find some things helpful uh, in whenever they're going through things. So, guys, this is Clyde here at Pixel Pro Displays. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. So take care. <music>